Could you tell us more about Wartzilla's smart marine ecosystem vision and what it means for the LNG market? That's a great opportunity looking to go forward and have a transformational change in the industry. Wartzilla envisions the smart echo marine system to be connectivity throughout all elements, ports, shipping, freight. And what we see in this today is a great opportunity to transform the entire industry, finding ways of efficiency, reducing slack time, and improving throughput at ports. Some of the enablers here that make this all function are big data. Wow. It is a very powerful tool now available. It's enabled by the fact that we have tremendous sensors that have high performance and ultra low cost. So this is going to help robotics and automation step forward. And we see artificial intelligence today moving rapidly to improve several things. So we feel that throughout the industry, this will create a leap forward change. To meet the IMO sulfur limits, how can the gas industry successfully promote LNG to the ship owners in the changing regulatory landscape? 2020 is a strategic structural change with a step instituted on one day. The industry will have a very challenging time adapting to that. Some of the progressive ship owners today are trying to find their way forward. Others who are uncertain are holding back on their investments. What we're going to see is with the sulfur threshold being dramatically reduced as a tremendous surge, I believe, in interest for gas, the zero sulfur fuel going forward. So we're seeing the leaders today, and I think very soon we'll see a lot of early followers the closer we get to, and particularly right at and shortly after 2020. Wartzilla's successful partnership with BC Ferries allowed the company to propel the use of LNG into their fleet. How will this continue to progress? BC Ferries has been a great partner going forward in trusting Wartzilla's capabilities to put gas-fueled vessels in their fleet, three new ones and soon two retrofits. But even more importantly, I think this shows a very strong move towards what I call the people brand impact. People know cruise ships, ferries, they touch, feel, they work, they've been on them. They don't know the merchant side. So we're gonna see a lot more of the cruise companies with passenger ships moving into gas, which we've now witnessing, and even more ferries. Because people demand stewardship of the environment, gas is a terrific answer for that, and they're familiar with touching these vessels. As a member of the Gas Tech governing body, what are you most looking forward to at Gas Tech 2018 in Barcelona? Gas Tech is a great conference with excellent people, tremendous networking opportunities, bar none. Thank you.